Hi, hello. I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you for watching. So it is fall and we have fall time projects ahead of us. Last year, I will link to the video, uh, made a bunch of Halloween decorations, in particular a very large skull as well as a series of skulls with lights in them. LEDs, RGBs, wirelessly controlled over Wi-Fi. It's very cool. If you need an opportunity to check it out, again, I will link it. But this year, we are focusing on what I'm going to call is um, lawn art or porch art or front of house art, <laughs> whatever you have. Uh, so I've, I had a board laying around that I made for a different project, um, a bunch of maple stitched together of uh, a really nice kind of curly maple. And I wasn't sure what to do with it because the project kind of came and went and I didn't get an opportunity to make it. So I decided, hey, what better but to create a plaque with some pumpkins on it for fall. Um, and so I decided to do this. I found a lovely picture on the interwebs. I outlined it. I routed it out with the X-Carve. I filled it with epoxy. I sanded it smooth and I finished it and it turned out wonderful. So this will be my little tutorial about how to do it on your own. All right, let's cut over to the computer and I'll show you the mechanics to get to the building stage. And then we will do a little montage of building it and then we'll wrap it up. All right, let's do it. All right, so here we are in the computer. I received weekly emails from Etsy, and I received one about um, probably about a month or so ago featuring fall projects, and it had a picture of this stained glass pumpkin. And so I went to the link, I found the actual artifact, and I got this picture here. And I was like, this will make a really nice epoxy thing. <laughs> so I got the picture and I edited it, it to turn it into a vector art so that I can ultimately import it into Fusion 360. So we're gonna switch over to Inkscape and show you what I came up with. What you see is a, the pumpkin is essentially is a one for one in its overall shape. Um, I colorized it. It doesn't really matter what the colors are in Inkscape here because we're gonna end up using the epoxy anyway. But I was able to retain the stained glass sort of outline here, which is this gray sort of part. Now I did delete this little um, black line in the middle of the stem because it, it was just far too difficult to try and get it to import in uh, Inkscape when I did the outline, which is the, the bitmap rendering of it. And I also did a little bit of editing. I removed this line right here and I moved these lines here just to clean it up a little bit to give a little bit more surface to pour and a little bit less carving. But other than that, uh, it's essentially a replica of it. So you can do this with anything that you want, whether it's a pumpkin or a Santa Claus or an Easter bunny or you know an American flag or whatever. Turn it into the vector art and then import it into a program to turn it into something that is, uh, you know, 3D, 2.5D sort, sort of thing. All right, so I have the Inkscape vector art here. I imported that into Fusion 360. Boom, there you go. So I will open the sketch. So it's essentially the exact outline of the pumpkin, uh, you know, except for all the different colors, which is really not material to the CAD program. So this is what we settled on. The board that I had was 16 and... Uh, what is that, 3 eighths and uh, 14 by 14 and a half inches US. And so that's what I scaled the picture for. So this is the manufacturing view of the pumpkin. I did a couple different attempts at what the most rapid way is to clear the material for this is. And what I ended up as, is I ended up doing an adaptive clearing path with a quarter inch bit to get the things that were the easiest to do. It was very quick in its operation. Let's see, um, 13 minutes total machining time, which is not too bad. And then because you will see here this pocket, this one, and then this one, for whatever reason, wouldn't render. This one was way too small for an adaptive clear. These, I'm not entirely sure what was going on, but I couldn't get it to generate a toolpath. So I ended up doing just a regular old pocket on those with, a, with the quarter inch bit 
and then I did a contour with the eighth inch bit to clean up the edges and that generated that you know, removed the bulk of the material I did not have to do a pocket with an eighth inch bit to clear uh, the preponderance of the material which would have taken forever um, I also tried out a face operation for the first time on the CNC. It worked wonderfully. Once you pour the resin and you got uh, you kind of a little bit of overflow, uh, you run a face operation over it. It just it skims that right off and you don't have to sand it. It is a miraculous miracle um, renovation in the way that I do uh, these resin things. So it just saves so much time. It literally saved me probably an hour of sanding. All right. So that was the kind of manufacturing very quickly. So I'll cut over to, to the making process and then we will wrap this up. All right, that was the video. I hoped you enjoyed it. It was very fun to make, very super simple. Now, in all fairness, I do have the X-Carve and that makes it a lot more simple. So I've done a couple of these now between the coasters and the big plaque and a variety of other things. They are turning out very, very well and I am super excited by the results. So, all right, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Uh, if you like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, appreciate a thumbs up anyway, but I would ask you to comment down below and tell me why you didn't like it so that we can make future videos better for you. All right, if you're not already following me on Instagram, I would appreciate a follow. I give kind of regular project updates on what I'm working on on Instagram. They're usually a few weeks or in this case, a few months <laughs> ahead of when you see the video. But if you follow on Instagram, I would appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, very important these days. And don't forget to be inspired. You know what fills? <clears throat> you know what fixes coughs? Cocktails. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Ooh, it's a little strong. Mm.